You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Fritz versus A.G. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Hey, how are you? Mr. Fritz, you state that over the last 30 years, you have searched to find your biological daughter, who you claim was taken from you as a child. However, just four months ago, this three-decade search came to an end when you found Ms. A.G., whom you believe to be your daughter on Facebook. You're now petitioning the court to prove that you are indeed her biological father. Is yes, that correct? Yes, Your Honor. That is correct. Ms. A.G., you say you know exactly who your biological father is and have come to court today to prove once and for all to Mr. Fritz that he is not your father. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. A.G., why are you so adamant that Mr. Fritz is not your biological father? Well, first off, Your Honor, um, he's on a birth certificate. The guy that's on my birth certificate was not my biological father. Um, he was married to my mother when I was born. But I do know who my biological father is. I was about eight or nine years old. I started asking questions about who my real father was, and my grandmother was the one who raised me. She told me my biological father was Buster. That's the only person she knew as my biological father. About 11 years old, I was sitting in the living room, in the living room floor, watching cartoons, or not come on the door. I went to the door, and it was Buster. At the time, I didn't know it was my father. He asked me, was I Angel? I was like, yes. He was like, um, is your grandmother at home? I said, yes, she's asleep right now. Later on that afternoon, he come by like three times. I had went swimming for the day. So the last time that I was at home, he come by and I met him. I spent a couple hours with him. He told me he was my dad. You know, he was excited to see me. He was gonna be in my life. Well, I didn't see him after that. Uh, I think I was 11 years old, he called and he wanted to be in my life. And I was like, okay, you know, that's fine with me. I had a Christmas play that the next day. And he said he was gonna come and, you know, come to our Christmas play and, you know, wanna be part of my life. I said, that's fine. He didn't show up. I was hurt. My biological father wasn't around. He wasn't in my life, so that hurt me. And you always believed that that man was your biological father? Yes, Your Honor. Did you ever try to contact him again? I did. I was 17 when I had my first child. I got married and I was pregnant with my second child when I was 18. And I wanted to look for him because I was gonna let him know that he has a daughter out here that, uh, you know, have one, one grandbaby and he's gonna have another grandbaby. And I just wanted him to be a part of my grand, you know, my kid's life. I want a relationship with my dad. I want my kids to know their grandfather. You know, I wanted that in my life. We went to his house, his sister's house, talked with her. I got pictures of him, you know, and, but she said that if he's my dad, he will contact me. And I haven't heard from him since, and I'm 35. He ain't contacted so, Mr. Fritz. I'm his father. That's the reason they You called. say you're my dad, but if you're my dad, then you would have come looking for me. You say you come looking for me, but obviously you didn't come looking for me because I live in Thomasville, a little town that you can find me. You found me when I was already married under my married name. You didn't find me under my maiden name. My maiden name, you couldn't find me. I live in a small town. I can go in the middle of the town and scream out Danny Fritz and they're going to hear me. You didn't come looking for me because if you did, you would have found me. I looked for you for 30 years, Angel. If you did, you would have found me. Tell me about this 30-year search and why you strongly believe you are Miss Agee's biological father. I got sentenced and incarcerated, and when I was being moved from one camp to another, I met a friend of mine. I said, hey, man, when you get back in town, would you run by and let Angel's family know that I've been transferred and where I was going to, to come see me? After three months, I escaped from the penitentiary to go see my daughter, and at two months old, I went and seen my daughter. And, um... I don't remember that. I don't remember any you of You might that. remember these pictures right here. Um, what are those pictures of, sir? That's a picture of Angel sitting on my father's lap and a picture of her sitting with my mother and father when she was... May I see those pictures? Two years old. These are pictures of a baby that you say is Miss Agee sitting on your father's lap. Yes, ma'am. Ask her if that's her. She that is me. Picture. That is me, but I don't, I don't have any... Regulation of this. I don't, I don't... You acknowledge, Miss A.G., that that's you. That's me. That's me. When those pictures were taken, she's about three years old. she come down and stay with me, and I was working, and... I don't recall that. I remember my grandmother. I remember staying with my not, grandmother. You may not remember it, and I, you know, it has been a long time. Actually, you stayed with me for five weeks, and they called up and says, we're going to go and visit one of your family members and wanted you to ride with and I said, that's no problem. They come and pick you up. I came I down there to get you. That. And when I came there, the, the trailer was empty. 
I went and knocked on all the neighbors' doors. Everyone says, we don't know. They move, they move. We don't know where they're at. I'm telling you, if you wanted to find me, you could have found me. Well, I tried and I couldn't find you. When you say you tried, Mr. Fritz, how did you look for her? Okay, you when went I went... knocked on the door and... I went gone. down there to find her. When I got there, the trailer was empty where she lived at, okay? So I went to the neighbor's house. They said, yeah, they moved, but they didn't know where. I went to all the neighbor's house. And no one knew where they had moved to. You if know, you want to find your daughter, you will not stop. I don't care what anybody says. If you want, if my kids are out there and I want to find my kids, I'm going to find them. Regardless. I didn't stop. Regardless. I'm going to find them. What was your next move? Very next move, I went to the courthouse. I went to the courthouse, started searching records. I looked under her family's name. I looked under the name that I knew she was carrying, which was Dial. I looked under that name, and there was nothing in the court records. When I went up there and couldn't find you through your court records and stuff, I went back to the house. I regrouped. Every time I went to visit my family and that where she lives at. When I, I don't went believe to it. Find I don't them, believe we would it. Go and look I don't for believe you. it. Because well. Thomasville's a little town. I'm telling you, people talk. People know people in Thomasville. I'm sorry. You're going to know. When I don't I need a dad now. I needed one then. When I was growing up, I needed a dad in my family. Are you going to do all the talking? I needed that. Let me, let me I'm talk. I'm telling you how I feel. Okay? Well, let me tell you how I feel. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Take me back to the day you found her. The day that I met her, I was sitting at the house. I was on Facebook, and I just started messing with it. I started looking at relatives, this name, this, this name, this name. Shauna Angel. Hmm. That's the name that come up with the numbers of the people I was looking at. And I said, if this is Angel, I said, this is Danny Fritz, please contact me. You contacted me on Facebook. We were talking. Right. I thought you was an old school friend because I didn't even know you were my dad. Right. I, didn't, I didn't recognize the, the name. And then I was shocked. I didn't know what to think because you, we here you shocked. are. I'm 35 years old and you're telling me you're my dad? Mm -hmm. I'm not, what am I supposed to think? Well, I'm here today to show you that I am your dad. And I don't know how you got and my phone And from this point on, I'm going to do anything me. at all that and you I want did. me to do to help you in your life and your children's life. You say that, but... I think I've been showing you that, Angel. I've no, been... you haven't. Um, all right, so Mr. Fritz... You see her and you find her. What has the relationship been like since then? Well, it started out pretty good. You know, the first day that we talked, she told me she was stressed. I said, what's going on? And she says, my daughter, my baby daughter is going out for cheerleading. I don't have enough money to get her a cheerleading outfit. I said, all right. She goes, I need $50. I said, let me I call you ask back. You for any let money. me see. No, you didn't. You didn't, didn't ask, ask me you. for no money. I said, let me see what I can do. I said, I'll call you back. I talked to my wife. My wife said, look, that's your daughter, man. I said, all right, you're right. I sent her $50 for the cheerleading outfit. When I did go to Thomasville and met my grandchildren, and I said, that must be the cheerleader. Hmm. Angel bowed her head, and she goes, I didn't no, know such. I, I didn't, didn't know such. I didn't, I, I'm I not didn't cheerleading yet. It's going to be a year. But, you know, I spent $50. I sent her to her to get a cheerleading outfit. And if outfit you would have talked to me about it and you would have had contact with me after that, I could have told you what happened. I got a phone that's got over so, 200 So, Ms. Agee, I have to ask you money. because it's, it's... That's a lot. It's, I, I have I'll to ask you, you Ms. Agee. That's Agy, a lot. Ms. Agee. Yes, Your Honor. If you do not believe he's your biological father... Yes, Your Honor. Why are you so angry at him? I'm angry because he says he is my dad. If he is my dad, why wasn't you there? I needed a dad when I was younger. I'm 35 years old now. I live my life. I'm living my kid. You know, I'm with my kids now. I'm living my life for my kids. And then he wants to pop up 35 years later and say he's my dad. The anger that you feel—it's almost counterintuitive. It's—it's—it's. It's, it's, I know this man is not my father because I know who my father is. But then I have a, a gentleman telling me that he is my father. If he's my dad, why wasn't he there? Why didn't he look for me hard enough to find me I when did. a guy that's supposed to be my biological dad found me? And do you understand that the circumstances that led to one man finding you could... It, it, there could be a he separate came. set of circumstances that I, were presented to him in his search. Or maybe there were ways that he could have searched <coughs> harder or deeper. Mm -hmm. Regardless of that, it doesn't change the fact that he got on Facebook... And, and he found me in a married to, name. I don't and understand that. It proves that he was still looking for you. Right. And then you stated in court, this man that you said found you, the one that you believe is your biological father, he then says to you, I'm going to show up at your Christmas play. Never show. Exactly, you're right. I've been hurt. 
I've been hurt by the guy that said he's There dad. we go. I didn't have a mom in my life and I didn't have a dad. My, my grandmother raised me. She passed away when I was 16. I've been on my own ever since and I've made it in this world. Are you just fearful to be hurt again for another man to say, I'm your dad, you matter to me, and then the next thing you know, they're not there. Exactly, you're right. Okay. That I've ain't hurt gonna happen, in my man. life and I don't wanna be you hurt You ain't gonna anymore. be by yourself no more. I'm gonna tell you that. And I love you, and you know that, Angel. Since the first day I got back with you and found you, I told you I would never hurt you, and I love you. And you'll tell you what, the love I got in my heart never going to go away, and you're never going to be alone. I'm here to help you. I'm here to be your daddy. But you're putting out there that I asked you for money. I didn't ask you for no money. I, I told you what was going on. And if you would have contacted me and asked me questions, I would have told you what went but on. But, Miss Ag, you, you don't did. have to ask your father or a man that believes he's your father for the money. He heard you had a need and so his belief a that he's if here... Not making a big no, deal he wasn't it. making a big deal about it. What he was trying to show is, as much as I may have not been there for her for whatever the circumstances, his point was just to say, I'm there. I was trying to give of myself. Mr. Fritz, your compassion towards Miss Ag is... It's remarkable, it's refreshing. And I have to say, whether you are or you are not her biological father, I can see that you, this, this relationship means everything to you. Yeah, it does, Your Honor. Do you have any other children? No, ma'am. So the stakes, they're very high. I really honestly do believe, and I gave us a lot of thoughts since I found you, I'm thinking that God knew I wasn't ready God was there. God says, well, you know, you're still in this motorcycle club and you're still doing this, that, and the other. There's no sense in God bringing you and me together because the only thing I'm going to do is hurt you. When I got out of the motorcycle club and I started getting more prayer in, God brought me to the Facebook page that found you. Wow. And it breaks my heart to see you over. Uh, I'm just hurts mad. Me. I'm hurt. I'm mad and I'm hurt. You could be mad at me all you want to, and I want you to be. I want you to get it all out of your system because when it's gone, then it's going to be filled exactly. with love. Exactly. Exactly. We're going to change that. Mr. Fritz, right. you have to understand that there, of course, is a lot on the line for you because you want to know the answer, and yet it's different for Ms. Agee. Yes, ma'am. Because in your heart, in your mind, you believe it and you know it for certain. Absolutely. In her mind and heart, she was told another man was her father. He let her down. She's got to put herself out there again. And there is a risk here for her that she's setting herself up to be let down she again, won't be let to be down. hurt again. Exactly. She won't be let down. I don't care what that piece of paper says. She's not going to be let down. I'm going to be here until the day they put me in the ground. I'm going to do whatever I can to help her. And even, while you don't care what the paper says, when I look into her eyes and, and I hear her testimony, she admitted, I have fear. I have fear. That's I do not want to go through this again. That's understandable. I can understand. I, I simply Like I, know I said, that. I've been hurt my whole life. I'm not going to hurt you. You baby. wasn't there. Miss Ag. on one hand, you say... I had my grandmother. She raised me. She gave me all I need. I don't need him for anything. I, I don't want to be hurt again. I didn't have a dad growing up. I didn't have a mom growing up. I had a grandmother that was my mom. That's an amazing, right. an amazing yes. grandmother. She very, she, yes. So very, on the yeah. one hand, I yep. hear you say this. On the other <laughs> hand, I hear you say, I didn't have a father. Exactly. And I want my children to have the I knowledge want... of who their grandfather is yes. and the love. Both of those things are kind of on opposite sides exactly. of a coin. I, and I understand that you're conflicted. Because so I, I have to ask you, do you want me to read you these results? Because I Because I have them. I do, because I definitely want to know where I came from. I want to know who my dad is. And if he is my dad, I want him to walk me down the aisle when I'm getting married. And you have prepared yourself either way. Yes, okay. I have. I'll walk you anywhere you want. Jerome, to I'm ready for the envelope. You. I love you with all my heart. And I know that paper's going to say I'm your daddy. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. Lord, please be with us now. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Fritz versus A.G., pertaining to 35-year-old Shauna A.G., Come on. <laughs> As to whether Mr. Russell Fritz is her biological father, 
It has been determined by this court. I am Mr. Katie. Fritz, you are her father. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> 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 I love you so much, baby. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you can't be that mean and not be my young. <laughs> <laughs> I love you so much, baby girl. <laughs> this is mm. just so beautiful. That's beautiful right there, man. You just made my whole life. Oh. <laughs> now I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Oh, it's just too good, isn't it, yes. Jerome? It's just too good. Oh, so I don't even want to adjourn court. I just uh, want to sit here and watch them hug. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> this moment is, is why we exist, to provide this moment. Hallelujah. And, and honestly, I, I have a dad say, now for 35 years. I have a dad. Oh, you do. God. You do. It sounds weird saying that, but I have a dad. <laughs> you do. And you're smiling. <laughs> Every little girl and every little boy and every man and woman on this earth deserves this moment to know who their father is. We're gonna be checking on you all and please send us some wedding pictures. I definitely will. All right? I definitely Good luck will. to you all. Court is adjourned.